So after initially finding the Inflangolini female's den, she's proven to be pretty difficult to find until this morning where we've come across to where she's actually moved the cubs to a new den, which is a phenomenal den. It's a lot of rocks on the edge of one of the drainage lines in the southwestern parts of the reserve. And it's giving us an incredible view, sitting at a bit of a distance here, watching one of the cubs moving around and playing. For now, it's been a phenomenal morning so far. We are sitting in the rain, so we're embracing that. But we've had the one cub playing around, climbing on the back of the mother, moving her up in the front there, getting groomed and cleaned there. But every now and then it gets distracted by the mother's tail, which is perfect because it's got a bright white tip there, which draws the attention of the youngster. And as she flicks it around, it'll then distract the cub. And what we're now starting to think about is we wonder where the second cub is. We know that there had been tracks of another young male moving through the area. And young nomadic leopards are often the biggest threat to a mother and her cubs. And we don't want to assume that the one cub is gone already because we know once they start getting to around about this age, which is probably somewhere in the range of five, six or seven weeks old, you become a lot more attentive and alert. And you can often have one or two of the siblings that are a lot more shy and skittish and nervous and they often won't come out of the den if there is anything around, such as a vehicle. So through the long, tedious habituation process, often the leopard cubs will then become a lot more accustomed to the vehicles and that would then allow them to come out and be around their mother in the presence of a vehicle. And so by us just, sorry.
they become a bit more accustomed and used to the vehicle knowing that it isn't associated with danger or food and because it's, the mother's relaxed they then pick up on that and become a lot more relaxed themselves. So by sitting at a decent distance like this, this will allow those cubs to relax and we'll keep coming through and checking as often as we can, hoping to see if the second cub is still alive. So it's been an unbelievably successful morning with some incredible views of just the one cub. We haven't seen the second one there. Eventually the mother's got up and she's walked off into some of the grass and bushes behind there. So we've looped around to try and see if we can see anything. But from here we can't get any closer without disrupting or getting too close to where we think they might be lying down. So don't think it's going to get much better than what we've already seen this morning. So let's leave them and hope that the second cub is still alive and we'll keep you updated as we go forward from here. So we heard reports from some of the ranging team that four of the Nzenga males were all together this morning. That's the first time they've been seen together on Londolozi since they first arrived. So we've come down here in order to try and find them. They're not in the exact same place where they were left this morning. We heard one of them call. So we got across there as quickly as we could and found one of the males who's then gone for a quick drink So we don't know if that's him trying to call for his brothers because they've moved on or possibly try and call for some of the several females. He's got his head up, he's looking around. So there's a very good chance that he might get up and start moving. So we stuck between whether we stay here and see if he moves any further or maybe go back in the direction from where he came and see if maybe his brothers are lying somewhere there and he's left them and come across for a drink and now settle down here looking for some of the females. Uh, so I reckon let's get across there and see if we can find the other brothers. So after a pretty brilliant tracking effort from Rich and Dorrance, we've managed to find the other three males and they're lying down in the grass here. Initially they did have their heads up, but they're all lying flat. You can hear the other male calling in the distance. So what we're hoping for is, as it gets a little bit darker and a bit cooler, that these males lift their heads, start grooming and yawning, and potentially even give off another call, and maybe even head across to where their coalition partner is that side. So we've got to play a bit of the patience game, but I think it'll be worth it if they do get up and start moving. <coughs>
So we got what we were looking for. Initially, just one of the males in the background there behind the grass lifted his head, started yawning a bit, and then gave off a call. And these other two then joined in, and in synchrony, they were belting out a full blown roar. The brother across the way there also responded. The sun set in the background, it's starting to get dark, and these two closest to us have now lifted their heads. They're yawning, they're grooming. So, fingers crossed that this is a good sign that they might get up and start moving around. But even if we just get one more roar out of them, we'll be very happy and content with our sighting this evening. But it's been an unbelievable scene. We've got male lions calling completely surrounding us. We've got the one off to our east that side. These two are belting it out properly here. And their brothers who moved further off to the, the west has also been calling. So it's been phenomenal. So these three have now settled down right in the middle of the clearing. And whilst we're sitting here, all of their heads are up. We can hear their brother in the distance calling back. And sounds as though some impala or alarm calling between us and where the brother was. So it's quite possible that he's now decided to come across here and join his brothers. Because how epic would it be if all four of them joined up and were out in the clearing here together. So the fourth brother has come across, He's just bumped heads and lay down with one of the males right here. We left those two back behind us there. How incredible, it's the first time I've seen all four of these males together in at least four months. And so just having the afternoon we've had, you couldn't ask for any better than that.